Oh boy. Just getting some uh, foundations and some ceilings crafted up. Going to get Q's platform saddle built up. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably put a smithy on there just in case and a bit of storage. Uh, maybe a bed. That could be handy. Uh, but other than that, I've got no real use for him. I'm just going to fetch and carry everything back here. Um, but it's nice to have the platform put out. And um, on the Infinite Arc series, on Quentin the Quetzal, uh, I really liked the glass platform I built for him. Um, it, it's not a full size one, as in it didn't use all the slots that you can use. Uh, you know, like all the blocks you're allowed to use for it. Um, but it was just a nice size and it was really handy um, and just had everything it needed for quite a minimal uh, amount of resources. So I'm going to replicate on here, hopefully. Uh, I'm doing it out of wood because I don't want to waste any metal. I mean, I've just smelted a load of metal. Um, I haven't got enough of my industrial forge, so I need to do another couple of metal runs. Uh, but I've got a few levels on Q right now, so he's already got really high weight, so it should only take one or two more runs, hopefully. Trust me to start trying to build something as it become night time. Uh, but yeah, we've got a few levels on Q now, I'll say a few, he's uh, level 204, and he's got uh, 3k weight now, so he's got a good weight on him. Um, so we're going to get loads of metal. I've got to get some more oil. I say more, I've got to get some oil. I've got to get some crystal and pearls and stuff. So I think I'm going to have to get a sea dino pretty soon. Um, but anyway, let's get this sorted. So hopefully I can replicate, like I said, uh, Quinton Saddle off of Infinite Arc. You've got to get a little bit lucky with the movements here. Yeah? Oh, it's still wonky. I wonder if actually he's more stable in the air. Let's try that. No. Well, oh, that's centre. I think that's the best I'm going to get it. It's pretty close. Um, yeah, it took a few attempts, but I think that's all right. Now, get these on. Like that. Right, I think that's right. Um, okay, and then take this one out. How? Hmm, I can't remember how I had the ramp. I'll have to check that on Quinton, I think. We'll leave that for now. The ramp's just to make it a bit nicer when you walk up and down it. Oh, mind you, he actually walks up and down the wood one's pretty nice. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do railings around the edge. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how safe that's going to be if I'm going to get whisked off the back if I'm moving while I'm flying. Um... But, like I said, um, I don't know how much I'm going to use him for anything other than just carting stuff around, really. Um, and we're not playing PvP, obviously. This is on the story of Ark, so there's no PvP. So I think I can get away with having like an open-air type deal on Quinton. Quinton? Okay. Oh, damn. Getting them confused. All right. So if we go like that. Like that. And then maybe what does this look like? Okay, that's a bit weird. <laughs> But I think, I think I like it. Alright, and then, let's stick one of these on. Uh, 
Let's go like that. Okay. Uh, what's he looking like? Oh, well, believe it or not, if you've seen Quinton on the Infant Art, that is exactly what his saddle looks like. Uh, obviously, his is made out of glass, though, so it looks nice, and we've got the walls and the roof on it, um, or the ceiling. I kind of like that, actually. kind of like it. Obviously, um, maybe I'll convert it to stain, actually. I might make it into stain. But that's definitely a um, layout I like. Uh, sure, what? Let me go get a load of stone and let's change it. See what it looks like. All right, let's see how this turns out then. Oh, oh no, that's oh man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's no biggie. It was only a storage box we lost. All right. Okay, and then. Um, I actually think they're easier to um, put stuff on while they're flying. They don't seem to move around quite as much. Um. Okay, what do these look like? Doubled up. Oh, I don't know if I like them doubled up. What about if we stick some wood ones on the top? Right. Okay. I kind of like that, actually. All right. Put this back on. Pow. Sure, that's gonna bug me. <laughs> that this don't match up, so I'm gonna have to put another large storage box in to go on this side. Like that. Okay, and that seems alright. Don't need to put a ramp in there, hopefully. And what does that look like now? It's not bad, you know. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay. Get the smithy on here. Cow. And the bed. Boom. Okay, cool. Then we've got enough for repairs on like uh, tools and stuff we need to. Not bad, I like it. I like that a lot. Right, now let's go uh, see what metal we can carry back with this time. Last time I carried 2k, I think, so if we get the same again, if not a little bit more. Uh, and then that should be enough metal for my forge, and then I'll go do some metal runs afterwards once you've got an industrial forge going, because uh, it takes ages with loads of little refining forges, obviously. Um, and then I need polymer and oil, so I'm not sure which I'm going to do first just yet. It'd be kind of nice to get a water dino though, so I might go and do that maybe, and we can get some oil gathered then. Alright, let's get some mining done then. Might grab some crystal while I'm here, because I do need crystal as well. Oh boy, I love these solid metal nodes. 1.6k metal off of one stone. <laughs> well, one metal node, not bad. Alright, how's that looking? Oh boy! Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> 3.2k is a bit much. Plus a little bit of crystal. Let's draw that crystal. Alright, okay, we've got 2.2k on. I could have got a little bit more on, but um, I'm hardly moving right now, and I'm not quite fully overburdened. Uh, but not bad. I should have brought my Argent with me, I completely forgot. But this should get me my Industrial Forge, you know, that's the main thing. 
But uh, yeah, Q looking good now. Oh boy, what weight is he on? 3.5k, not bad. Hope you get a few more levels in that yet as well. Well, <laughs> that is a long journey on something this slow. But, like I said, that should be, if I can land, the industrial forge sorted. Oh, I've run out of wood, don't I? Okay, I need to get some wood. Alright, that's all them on. So hopefully that's the metal sorted. Right, okay. So while we're waiting for that to cook, uh, I'm going to get a megalodon, I think. Uh, it should be a couple around here somewhere. And uh, that way we can get some oil, because I've got oil nades right down here, just off the edge. You can see it over there in the distance. So it'll be handy for that. Plus, um, we'll need to get out in the water anyway at some point soon to get silica pearls and that sort of stuff. Um, and then we can go grab some penguins and stuff for some polymer afterwards. But hopefully we can get a megalodon. Um, I don't really know uh, the best way of taming uh, well, sea creatures in general, really. Uh, like megalodons and stuff like that. You can make rafts with like some cool cages underneath them. I've never actually built them. Uh, my brother's actually built one. Maybe I'll get him to help me build one. But um, I just try and find somewhere shallow like this, attract the megalodon, and then just start uh, tranking it. What level is that one? 104. And strangely, there only seems to be one megalodon over here. I'm going to stray too far over there because I've not got much swim speed or oxygen. I don't want to just settle for that one because it's right there. Hello, Inga. It's level 71. Oh, our arm is broken. Uh, I actually tamed a male companion of hers when I was messing around with her the other day. Um, and I brought him back, went inside, come back, and he got nuked. Um, I can't remember what killed him now, but something killed him. And that's why Inga's arm is broken. She survived. A uh, bit unfortunate. I do need to get another human. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't want to just settle for that uh, megalodon just because it's there. Hello, Tony. So, we'll just have a little excursion down the beach, see what we can see. Uh, and I ain't going to venture too far out to sea because I want to be quite close to shore. Um, So I can tame them the way I tame them. There's one, what level are you? 80, okay. Oh, I love a tapage. Stuff like this are absolutely perfect. Loads of stamina, loads of maneuverability. Oh, there's one. 116, okay, that's better. 92. I'm a bit of 116. Might as well check around this island. I think the big whale monster's stuck. One twenty. That might be the beauty right there. Let's go for that and see if we can get it. Right. So what I'm going to do... Uh, and it normally works, and it's not too problematic. Can I get that from there? Let's have a look. Um, is just try and kite into the shallows, basically. Just try and keep it at range and just knock it out. That's a pretty cool colour, actually. It's like silver, isn't it? I do want that to come back around here, actually. Here he comes. Oh, missed. Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, almost got me. I don't want it to pass out too deep, really. Oh, he'll come back out for a minute. Is it just swimming away from me? Come back here, yeah? Oh, what a shot. Oh, he's just duped me, isn't he? Oh, boy. Oh, that is not a good feeling. Why am I so slow? Go quicker. Oh, mate, he's done me. He fooled me big time there. Oh, oh he stopped. He stopped. Uh-oh. Oh. Like I said, it's not the <laughs> safest method. It normally gets the job done. Oh, I'm going to take a hit here, I think. Don't go off that edge. He's... Oh, it's so nearly passed out. Right, I'm going to have to get some air for one thing and then fly over the other side. Hopefully, it don't get away. Should be over here somewhere. There he is. Right on cue. Is he out? It's not unconscious. Is it? Oh, it is unconscious. Oh, there we go. You know what? I might have donked him, I think. He's on 91%. Not the end of the world. It is a bit of a shame, though. It's not the best way of taming a sea creature like I've just done it. And obviously, they can end up anywhere like he's all the way down the bottom there. Which ain't ideal. But it saves trying to build anything and uh, making a fancy pants raft or anything. Like I said earlier, I've not actually made one of them um, underwater taming cages basically. And I can't remember how you even build them. So I might have to do a little bit of research and see if we can get one built. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like I said, my brother made one. So I might have to see if he can come and help me. Uh, and see if he remembers how he built one. Now, while I'm waiting, there's a, I think it's 112 itch you saw right next to me, so might as well try and grab it. So get that cooked up quick. Come here, yeah. There we go. Go check the Megalodon while he's taming up a bit more. I'm well, getting hungry, I should say. Should be tamed now. Yeah, there it is. 174 tamed out. Not bad. Yeah. Put that on it. Pow. There's another 120. Yeah, 120 female. Can I get over here where they are? He looks pretty cool, look at him. It's like silver and orange. Oh yeah. Well, we weren't expecting that. Oh, there's two of them here. That's not good. Oh, 
That's a flying megalon, look at it. Oh yeah. Oh. I think we're winning. Starting to blood yet now? Yeah, come on. Oh boy. That's like some sort of megalodon martial arts there. Right. Okay, he's just gonna stay there like that, is he? You crack on, buddy. Right. Where is that one? Twelve. Oh, there it is. Oh, ninety-seven percent. This must be the most annoying itch I've ever tamed. Normally, they just sit there and you feed them. Maybe we've just been lucky. Yay! Uh, Zima. Don't ask what they're now, do Alright, oh, I haven't actually got a. Can I make one of them on myself? Okay, well, that don't matter. We'll sort that out when we get back to the base. There we go. Right, okay. Obviously, it's movement speed. Uh, you know, it's not too much quicker than the old uh, Megalodon at the moment. Oh, what's that? Just a random rock formation. Okay, but we are now at sea, so that is awesome. There's a lot of oil around here, so that is real handy. Now, where's the weight on this thing? Really low, okay. But at least we can go out and explore on this now real quick. Well, once once he's leveled up anyway. We just need crystal metal and polymer. Okay. Uh, I could actually probably do that quickly in one round trip with my RG. Penguin! Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Oh boy. Uh, what's that? On it. Come on, penguins. Ooh, that's one. I wonder if you get more for this. Oh, damn it, dropped it. Oh, you do? Maybe. Oh, no, baby, then. Sorry, baby, pingu. Just be glad I ain't got my chance here. Gowed it. Yeah, I think that's about the same as a um, pickaxe, actually. Uh, could do with a sword. Oh, I didn't bring a sword, did I? I think a sword's pretty good. Anyway, I think that's enough polymer. Now I need a little bit of metal and a bit of crystal, which we can grab on the way back. Oh, I'm disorientated now. Oh, it's this way, isn't it? 